Hi, this is Craig from DiviThemeExamples.com and today we're going to show you how to recreate the scrolling screenshot effect that you can see here on the Divi Layouts page. So, as you can see, when you hover over the screenshot, it scrolls up so you can see the full page. When you move your mouse out, it returns back to the original. So we also have a delay in the return, so you can move out, move back in, stop, have a quick look, like this. So basically what it is, we're not going to bother with this, uh, so it's just text here and a button. So this actual scrolling section is contained within a text module. I'm going to show you how to set it up now. So here we have a test site, got a new page and we're going to insert four columns and you need to put a text module. So go into custom CSS tab and the CSS class needs to be scroll me. You then need to go into your advanced design settings and go down to the background image. So here <coughs> in this example we need a 230 pixels wide screenshot and for the moment that's all we need. So put four of them in a row and what you then need to do is go to your theme options and insert some custom CSS which is this so I'll put this in the post and a link under the video so what we have here is the scroll me class and you can see it adds a border, it adds the inner shadow, we set a minimum height of 250 pi pixels, display block, and then we set the position, size, repeat of the background. And this stuff at the bottom is for the transition. <coughs> so the transition is background position, and it takes 1.5 seconds with ease out on a 0.5 second delay. So this is the bit that controls when you move your mouse out of the image to return it back to the original position and on the hover um, part of it again the, the transition is the background position I mean here, background position this time it takes four seconds, it's linear, so it's the same speed all the way through, and there's no delay on this one. So, you want to copy this, go into your theme options, scroll down to custom CSS. If you have a child theme, you can put this into your style sheet as well, but it works fine in the custom CSS. So save the changes, uh, upload the page, and if we now preview, we'll see our scrolling screenshots. Now the, so depending on how tall your image is, um, basically the, so the four seconds that is set is how long it should take to scroll the entire image. So if you have a really long image, it's going to scroll a lot faster to get the entire image scrolled within four seconds so depending on how tall your images are you want to play around with the different um,
timings in the CSS. Now the only other thing was we added uh, this icon on our layouts page. So this is actually a 230 pixels wide PNG with transparency. So it actually comes as a full block. And if you want to add this one, you can do so in your text module. So you need to put it into the content. So we can add media. And here we have, so you can see it's 230 by 35. And if you preview this one, you'll see it will sit within the window here. So to get it to overlap the edge, you need to go in and add this style here. So <coughs> you could do this in your style sheet or we've just done it in line here. So it's setting a negative 15 pixel margin to that image. So if you preview that, you can see there it sits on the edge. And that is the scrolling screenshot effect. Uh, thanks to uh, Ron over at creativespad.com for showing us how this code worked uh, when I was setting up the layouts page. So if you'd like the same effect, give it a try.